guys it's Kendra so it is Thursday I think it's October 4th and it's officially our first October vlog I'm super excited that technically fall is here but it's still a little hot outside I'm wearing a cardigan because we're running some errands today and it just gets cold inside stores but we're gonna be looking for a few more little fall knickknacks like decor and stuff and we might go to Pier 1 if we can't find anything at Home Goods, and also Kelsey's gonna show you her sweet potato mash recipe. Basically mashed potatoes, but with sweet potatoes, because we love that in the fall with like a veggie and something else like salmon. I might show y'all how I make my Brussels sprouts too, even though I feel like, no, I haven't showed y'all. Never mind, because last time I cooked, um, I think I had asparagus on the sheet pan dinner that I made. So, yeah, so I didn't show y'all how to make my Brussels sprouts, so. I'm gonna show y'all how I do that. We're just gonna be taking you guys along with us. And so this is a fall vlog because we're gonna be switching our house to fall vibes. I'm so excited. If you guys love fall like I do, then we share that love for fall because I can't stand summer. So I'm just so excited that fall is here and it just feels so good. Basically the next three months of the year are my favorite months out of the whole year. Who doesn't love fall? Who doesn't love Christmas? Like it's just the best time. We're gonna stop by Starbucks first, I think so. Yeah, I'm just giving y'all a rundown on what's to come today. Thank you, we're gonna get started for you. Hi, can I get two grande soy chais? Um, just the cinnamon powder. All right, I got you. So ice grande soy um, chai tea latte with the cinnamon dolce topping. Yes. It's officially fall and it's officially still hot AF. It is 83 degrees outside, so it feel warmer than that. It was 90, like 96 earlier, so it's hot. It's gorgeous though. I'm just it's ready so for pretty. these leaves to start changing. Yes. People who don't care about fall probably like, what is wrong with them? Like, it's just fall. It's not just fall. It's one of the best months of the year, so. I mean, I don't get why people like Kendra. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys enjoy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon powder. I just had her waiting. <laughs> she was she like. Was... <laughs> the lady was like. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she saw the camera. She was probably like, what are they doing in there? <laughs> My bad girl. I feel so bad. I know. I just had her just wave now. But it's hot. You was letting on the air conditioning out. So. Yes. <laughs> you gotta conserve all this good cool air. <laughs> so, do you want to go to Home Goods or Pier One first? I think we. I want to do Home Goods. Yeah, we should probably do Home Goods first. Yeah, I agree. Home Goods is probably best to go first because it's always better to go with the cheaper option first. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go to Pier 1. Yeah. Even though I think Pier 1 might have the pillows we're looking for. Yeah, because I forgot to mention to y'all, Kelsey really wants to get some fall pillows. Yeah, like cognac color. Like a bronzy tone, like metallic crushed velvet kind of pillow. Like camel. Yeah, camel. I call them bronze. They look bronze to me. And I, I don't like orange, really. I'm not a huge fan of orange when it comes to, like, throw pillows. No, me either. Um, so... It's pretty orange pillows, but I just don't want to do orange personally, so. Hmm. Yeah, plus we're going to have, like, uh, try to find some of that, um, like, those, like, leaves with a little bit of orange. Remember I said I wanted to do something oh, like that? Oh, on the, the table. No. I don't know the ideas you got in your head, Kelsey. It, on the, in the lanterns. Oh, I oh, to, that would be cute. Yeah, on the floor. Okay, mm -hmm. we can do that. No, I don't want to change the centerpiece on the table. I just think it's weird to decorate with stuff you can actually eat. So. Like real pumpkins? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just prefer to use fake pumpkins. And then I wanted to see, oh, I, think, oh, I thought I ran it like. Um, I think I wanted to see if they had some like other fall candles uh, because I wanted to put them inside these really pretty hurricanes, these amber hurricanes I got from H&M Home. I'll show you guys later. But yeah, those are pretty. Uh, I wanted to put like some nice candles to put inside those. I'm trying to dry my hair. This is what I do when I need to dry my hair. I use the air conditioner. I mean, it's the same as a fan, so. Okay, so these are the color pillows that I wanna do. Okay, so those are the color pillows I wanna do. Like those brown ones, those are pretty. And by the way, I get most of these ideas off of Pinterest. Like a lot of you guys ask like where we get a, a lot of our, our ideas from. And we are, we'll like go off of a picture on Pinterest and then kind of like make it our own. Mm -hmm. But it's like a nice little guide to like spark an idea. Mm -hmm. 
So Pinterest is your best friend when you're decorating, whether it be just for your house in general or for a holiday. So Definitely. Pinterest, Pinterest is where it's at. Mm -hmm. Or um, if you're an Instagram person, there are, are like design Instagram pages. pages. I feel like more than half of the like pages I follow or like they're like home design on your explore builders. page at the top on the explore page at the top is a um, different categories that you can go to. So they have beauty, fashion, they have decor. So if you go to the decor part, you will be able to search all like this design decor, you know, inspo pages. Yeah. So I follow a lot actually. I, that's how I feel like. Why well, I feel like I'm becoming an old woman because. No, you're not. I just I like. A lot of I people like decor and design. I love. If I wasn't doing what I'm doing now. Yeah. And if I, my plan B wasn't to be a hairdresser, my third. Plan C would be the interior design. Interior design, definitely. For sure. A lot of you guys were saying that we should start our own interior design company, and I definitely will keep that in the back of my mind because I feel like that could definitely be a side hustle for us for to sure. do because I feel like it's still something we're passionate about. Um, so yeah, I like having more than one passion because yes. some people don't even have one passion. So yes. I'm glad that I'm passionate and like good at like more than one more. thing. Yes. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's just like the transformation yeah the transformation process like the before and after that's kind of why i like doing hair too mm -hmm. i like you know yep making something better yep so yeah that's probably why i like it too these are really pretty not for the couch but just in general they have a gold zipper at the bottom kelsey told me not to get them because i don't need any more pillows i just saw three brown ones but they weren't like square what do they look like ones. what like the and they were too dark. hot dog kind yeah, See, tell me these ain't pretty. You don't need them. I know, but I can figure out where to put them. No, you can't. Well, what you about do... this one? What? I don't have this kind of, the, the side kind on my bed. Kendra, you have 5,000 pillows on your bed. Let me see the size of it. No. <laughs> Kendra. It's pretty. Still something in the cognac. Way too family. much orange over here. Okay, but still in the cognac family. I kind of like that tone. Yeah, this tone is pretty, but without these, these are ugly. Yeah, I don't like those. If it was just just the pillow, like plain. I wish I can cut them off. Kelsey, I, th I don't think I think that would ruin the pillow. Ruin it? No, wrong. Look, like if you just cut, you can leave like the little short part and then just cut that. So you want to cut actual. it off? I mean, it's a homeless pillow. How much like is it? It's $100 or nothing. It's $17. It's not bad. I love this color though. And it has like a nice gold zipper. I like this because it's cognac. It's not orange. It's not brown. It's like a mixture. It's pretty. I think it's, it's showing pretty. up more gold on camera, but it's like more penny copper yeah, in copper. person. Yeah, copper. That's it. It's copper. Those are pretty. I think we'll go with these, but th this gotta go. I wish we could put like a more fluffy insert in them. Cause they're so flat. I'm sure we can, um, those pillows in the closet, we can just put those inserts oh, in this. Oh, that's a great idea. That came with the couch. Yeah, the extra ones that we didn't use. Yeah, because these are kind of flat. Yeah. So we're taking them just buying them for the cover. The cover. Because these are kind of flat. Okay, let's do this. But these gotta go. I'm cutting these off. And $17 is actually pretty good. So if we get these, do you still want to go to Pier 1? Um, yes, because I need to see if I can find some little, um, baby pumpkins. Because the rest of these aren't in the color family color family that we like because this is all too orange for me looking for some black candles I just got these two, these two I like the packaging good. yeah these will look cute on the table behind the, like for filming huh it smells nice too this one smells really good the smoked pumpkin vanilla smells even better to me Some smell it smells even better oh huh. good right that's nice okay See anything else in the black candle section? Fire side embers. Oh, that was good. Yes, that was nice. Oh, thank you. I got another one. This smells like one of the Archibaldi candles. Yeah, it does. Can you not take all the ones that I'm picking? Perfect. Yeah, it's, it is for when we're filming. This one is too. I like that one for my room. <laughs> you trying to take? Yeah. These sensational ones are really nice for those of you who are looking for some nice home candles. But are they strong though? Oh, that strong one's I don't nice. Remember. It's like a soft scent. I like it though. But this one. I like it for uh, 
Amber and vanilla. I like this one. This one. Amber and vanilla one. Mm, I'm trying to see what else. Yeah, this is like something you would like. Why is it? Wait, open it again. Let me make sure I like it. It's kind of faint though. Yeah. It's not strong enough for me. This smells like zest soap. That's what that smell like. Ooh. What? Smell bomb for like um, baths. I can put her on my tub. Ooh. Do they have another one of these? This is warm tobacco pipe. <laughs> I'm gonna bury crap. Peppermint it, and it pipe tobacco. tobacco. <laughs> He's so silly. Smoked pumpkin. I like this packaging. Even though I normally don't no, buy I candles. I thought too. you said you wanted to put two candles on the side of our little uh, flower thing on the island. Remember you said you wanted to put something on each oh, side? Yeah, I did. So we can find two matching ones. This is perfect. Smoked pumpkin. Both yeah. of these. See, the same one. So these for the island. Yes. Okay. I like these. Even though it's not as good as the original fireside from Bath and Body Works, this is still nice. Wait a minute. Do you think this smell like Dr. Pepper? Come smell this one. Yeah. Do you think this one smell like Dr. Pepper? I'm trying to see if I can find another one of those too. Do you think they smell like Dr. Pepper? What, like this? Yes. Can I see it? Yeah. Okay, we're not gonna get it. I don't like Oh, I see another one with that pretty packaging we like. Thank you, I need it for my bathroom. Amber Teak and Sandalwood, and I love Sandalwood. Here. Oh, that's a pretty amber packaging. Oh. What's that? It's called Atlanta. Ooh. That smells really good. Wait, I want this one. You can take that one for your bathroom. Really? Here. That go with my room anyway. The well, packaging. That's why I wanted this one because it goes with my bathroom. Yeah, you're right. Because I know you have a lot of like black or kind of smoked looking glass. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. That's a no. Like birch, it's a little too strong. Wait, that smells like Vicks, so no. Smell like Vicks? This, Vicks, Vicks that you put on your chest. It's pretty, it's green, like your room. That's so good. It smells like clean house. That's why I like it. It's pretty for your room too. I get this for my bedroom instead of my bathroom. I love that packaging. Can you see any more of that in the amber color? I found that down there. Just go with the colors, because they um, color coordinated. Uh, yeah, I like that. I appreciate them for color coding everything. Bamboo water. Those are nice, but I don't. I hate these wood burning ones. These I like those. the wood stick ones. I like how they sound. I like how they sound. They sound like a fire, but I haven't had a strong smelling one yet. Ooh, this one smell like. It's gonna go pretty on a coffee table. I know that's why I'm looking at maple pumpkin. This might be good for the coffee table. We have leaves on there right now, though. I like leaves, but if it burned too long, give me a headache. Too sweet. Too sweet? You know, I don't want it super pretty. Oh, yeah, well, you up for your it glue looks gun. It looks just like glue sticks. No, I don't want that. Yeah, for your glue gun. Mm -mm. Right. The does. ones in front of them are pretty because they look like the other ones we have at home. Yeah, we have these, but bigger. Yeah, those are pretty, but I don't like the other ones. Okay, guys, so we just got back home. We changed and took our makeup off, and I'm going to briefly show you guys what we got at Home Goods, and we're just going to get right into switching to fall vibe. Okay, so I'm gonna start with these throw pillows because we weren't expecting to find this color that we were looking for because this is a rare kind of shade of a throw to find because they had a lot of orange going on. So these are more of like a copper tone. I don't know if it's coming up on camera. They're in like the copper family. They have a bronzy penny finish and I like the textured lines and it really pretty. So we got three of these. I'm not really feeling the inside pillow. So we're gonna switch it to some other ones that we're not using that are a lot fluffier so got three of those and also they had tassels like on the corners and they were really tacky they didn't really go with the pillows like it didn't complement the pillow so we just kelsey actually cut them off so she managed to cut them off without you noticing that they were even there before also from home goods we got two of these candles they are this really pretty charcoal gray shade they are called smoke pumpkin they smell really good they're a wood wick candle so wood wick candles are really nice you can actually hear like the wood burning on them so love those we're gonna put them on the island and hopefully they have a nice smell because 
sometimes home goods and like TJ Maxx and stuff don't really have very potent smelling candles. If you guys hear anything, uh, that's the dryer. If you can hear extra noise in the background, the dryer's on. But love those. And then we also found these here. They are from the brand M of GW. This is the number four candle wood smoked apple. So that is what that looks like. Really pretty packaging. We got these two to put in our beauty room because we wanted some black candles for like the background of our videos because the white was kind of blending. And we thought it would be cool to uh, switch to black candles since the seasons are changing now. So I thought these would look pretty in the background. And then from TJ Maxx, we decided to get these pumpkins. If you guys remember our pumpkins from last year that we found to go on our stairs, they, they light up. So they're similar to these, they're just a different shape, but we decided to get these two mercury ones and then this like matted orange one. So it's mercury underneath, but it's a really pretty matte orange shade, like a burnt orange, really pretty. So we might put this one on our coffee table inside the tray, like the gold tray that we have. And then these two, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with these. Or we might put this one on our buffet. Y'all will see where we've decided to put in everything in a minute. And then Kelsey found these really pretty leaves at Michael's because she wanted to cut them and put them in the lanterns that we have in the living room um, in front of the fireplace. So I thought that would be pretty too. And they had a lot of different shades, but we thought these had like enough yellow and orange and a hint of red. You probably can't even see the red on camera, but I thought these look really pretty. Very, very fall. And it's a little bit of color, not too much because y'all know I don't really do, you know, the bright colors, but I thought this would be a nice, you know, accent to add to our living room to make it feel more like fall also along with these pillows we found a uh in that same section at home goods we found a black throw but it's currently in the washer so we're going to put it on our chase and lastly i wanted to show you guys these three really pretty black hurricanes these are from h m home and i thought these were really gorgeous when i saw them online i have been looking for like this vertical like ribbed hurricane these hurricanes for a while and i couldn't really find this style anywhere and that's the only place that I could find them. They also have these um, in clear, I think. They have clear ones, and the clear ones have other different shapes as well. I actually had two of the taller one, but it came broken, so that was really annoying. But they have like this really pretty, like black vintage look. So they're not like black, black. They have like a nice vintage stain to them. And I love like the vertical look. So. You can put like flameless candles in these or you can put a real candle in them. I'm thinking about putting real candles in these two and then in this one just putting the flameless light that we already had in our clear hurricane. It's gonna look really pretty when it's lit and you can see through it, so I love these. This is another good way to decorate your house. You can just switch out your vases or hurricanes that you have around and switch out like the tones and the, sh uh, the kind of texture of them. So, love these.
Okay guys, so I'm just making some sweet potato mash. Um, I usually make this around this time of year. So hopefully these are good sweet potatoes because it's the beginning of October and they usually taste a little bit better when I buy them towards the end of October. So hopefully these are good because like how you know it's a good sweet potato, you don't have to add as much like of ingredients to the mash. That's how you know it's a good sweet potato. So we shall see how these taste, but right now I'm just boiling them so that it's a lot easier for the skin to come off and so that they're soft, of course. I took the potatoes off the stove, so they're done. So I just uh, drained the water in the sink. So now when I put them in the bowl, like the skin will fall right off. And I'm just gonna show you really quickly what I'm gonna be putting in them. Um, I usually do some cinnamon, brown sugar, one short stick of butter. This is the uh, vegan butter. I'll show you guys the brand. Earth Balance. Kendra uses this all the time for our like vegan rice krispie tree. And then I do coconut milk yogurt. Now this might be kind of weird to some people for like a mashed sweet potato, but I like doing this because it gives it a nice light flavor, but still adds a little bit of creamy sweetness. And then I either do rice milk or I do vanilla almond milk, depending on how sweet it already is. So I do this as the last step to see which one I need because the rice milk is not sweet at all. It just tastes like regular milk. And then the almond breeze vanilla is a little sweeter. So it just depends on if these sweet potatoes are like naturally sweet on their own. So it just depends. We'll see.